what's up everybody? Thank you for checking me out. Wafram Echo Simpson. Waframi Echo Simpson. It means my name is Echo Simpson. So maybe sometime to come in my videos, I'll be saying one or two local words or fancy words so that you can, you know, grab um, you know, their fancy language and all that. So Wafram Echo Simpson, Medasi. Thank you very much for checking on my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, you know what? I like to build this YouTube channel to the largest number on earth, okay? Largest subscribers on earth. So don't just watch my videos, just click on it, subscribe. If you won't subscribe, just like the video. If you won't like the video, just put up a comment. If you won't put up a comment, just share the video. But aside, I also need your support, you know? There is um, a platform called Patreon. Patreon is where you can go and support my channel. Don't you want to support my channel? Just go there and subscribe to it, okay? So if it's $1 a month, every month I'll get that $1 to help me push and get more videos. And if you want to push me through PayPal to, I'll provide the link or the details for you to do that. So do you know that um, 2019, the chief of Asebu said, yo, if the government is inviting you to Ghana, then I'm also giving you free land. Yes, but you have to pay for the administrative cost and all that. Those who are building there right now in an interview said, Echo, do you know what? I was going through Facebook, I was going through YouTube, and I saw your video about 5,000 acres of free land. And I took the next step, which is bought a, a flight and came to Ghana. So most people who did that saw the land through my videos. And I'm very happy that I'm making this impact. And then I saw your video on YouTube talking about the free land. And I said, that's interesting. I'm going to Ghana anyway, so that sounds like a good deal. So I'll check it out. Now, the 5,000 acres of land was divided into phases or has been divided into phases. The phase one, which had about 300 plus plots, I think is finished. Yes. Speaking to Obed Kwanza, he made mention that Echo, the first phase is finished. Those who applied have gotten their document. I think everybody, if not all of you, have gotten your document and all that. So that is it. He said maybe they are working on the second phase, which I don't know when that is going to be possible. But the first phase is finished. I went there today to meet him, had a discussion, and then also to go for the indentures of four people that are applied their land for so they applied through me because they called me and said yo echo is is I'm, I'm having difficulties applying through the website and all that can you help me do i was like yes i can help you with a little compensation fee yes because i need to drive go all these you know do all the rounds. so uh, so the good news is that i have the indentures of those people that that i applied for i know most of you applied and it's been delaying. Even those people that I applied for, I know they've been sending me messages. Echo, what's up, bit? What's up, bit? The truth is that when I apply for you, do all the the, the 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 filling of the application and all that, and then I pay your money into the account and give it to the secretariat, my work is done. I would have to be, you know, going to them, getting an update of what is happening because the Lands Commission would have to prepare this. It is not as CB people who are supposed to prepare this, the Lands Commission. And they take about a month or two. Okay, so what I'm saying is that if you apply anything through me, especially with land documents and all that, and I tell you to wait for like two months, just believe me, okay? Nobody's going to run away with your money. But, you know, sometimes I get calls, I get emails, I get text messages, echo what is going on, they think it's fraud. I, I won't do that. I won't fraud anybody. No, that, that is not part of me. Hey, so the good news is that I have four documents here, four indentures representing four people, and they believed in me and trusted me and applied uh, the Asebulan through me. So they sent me the money. I did everything that I had to do for them because they were having difficulties applying online. I know I've done it for a few people and I sent their documents straight to them wherever they are. So I want to say that they are working on the second phase of their 5,000 acres of land. If you're interested, go ahead and put in your application. I'm on standby if you want me to do this. Like I said, on a compensation fee, I will do everything for you. So I have these four indentures that I went for. I can't show you their names because they've not asked me to show their names to the public. But I want you to know that 
we have the indentures here. It is set. We've signed it. Everybody has signed. And if you are not here, I'm always like a witness. So I do the signing and the side too for you. So, hey, thank you very much for checking me. I just wanted you to know that the assay button is real. I went for um, the indentures of four people that acquired the land. And I'm very happy because it was, a, it was like a, a hurdle on me something heavy on me because they were like hitting me up echo what's up what's up what's up now that i have it i'm going to ship it to them and my work is done with you so thank you very much for checking me out put up a comment and let me know if you want the piece of land when they you know officially announce the second phase so hey thank you very much and don't forget to go on patreon and subscribe it can be a dollar two dollars three dollars four dollars a month that will help me push this channel thank you very much hey what's up everybody thank you for checking me out this is echo simpson i just made a quick trip to Asebu land to show you what is happening but basically i was sent here by my father len the uh the man that i picked from the airport so i just came out from a storeroom this is a storeroom and it's also a water pump so he built a borehole down there put a pump on it and built a little house on it and he's using that as a storeroom as well because i see some cement and all that and hey i wouldn't really want to tell you that a lot is happening here on the asebu freeland i also came here purposely with a carpenter yes I think Len saw the, the ceiling that I did in my library. You know I'm building a library for my school, right? Yes. Uh, I'm a teacher in a school called Afringwa DABC School. It's in a rural community. So they don't have a library. So I decided to look around, ask friends and families and everybody in this world to support me build a library for them. Let me, let me take you there. Mm -hmm.